everyone, it's Christina from thediymommy.com and today I want to show you how to make super cute mittens out of thrift store sweaters. Welcome back to my channel again today everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am in the festive mood. I'm in the festive gift giving mood for Christmas and today I want to show you a super cool way to make mittens out of thrift store sweaters. So here's one of the pairs that I made and I think they are so cute. I found a couple of old sweaters from my local thrift store. One was $3 and one was $4 and I made a pair of adorable mittens from each of the sweaters. I am partnering up today with Rocky Mountain Soap Company. They are my favorite skincare company and I'm gonna show you how you can combine these thrift store sweater mittens with their amazing skincare products for a super thoughtful and beautiful gift for somebody this Christmas season. Let's get started. To begin, I found two sweaters at my local thrift store. One was $3.50 and one was $4.50 Canadian. And I liked them because they were fantastic colors and really beautiful textures. Next, I took a mitten that fit me and I just traced around it on a piece of cardstock. If you don't have a mitten to trace, you can use my free mitten pattern. I'll leave it in the description box below. And it's basically a size medium women's mitten. If you are making a mitten for someone else, you'll need to trace a mitten that's their size. Next, I cut out the mitten pattern that I made on my cardstock. And then I took my sweater and I turned it inside out. This part is very important. And I placed my mitten pattern along the bottom ribbed edge of my sweater, just like this. And I made sure that the cables on this particular sweater were kind of in the center of my mitten. And then I traced around the mitten pattern with a Sharpie. Now this knit is particularly thick and I'm going to show you a trick on how to make sure it doesn't fray when you sew it. So next you're going to pin both sides of the sweater together inside of your pattern just like this and then you're actually going to sew it first before you cut it and this is going to help the sweater not fray after you've cut it. So the stitching is going to keep everything together. This is an especially important way to do it when you're using a more chunky knit like this particular sweater. After you've sewn on the sharpie portion of your pattern, you're going to cut about a quarter of an inch away from where you sewed with some nice sharp scissors. And don't worry about all that extra sweater. I am going to do some more DIYs with these sweaters, so make sure to stay tuned to my channel for that. And then after you've cut the mitten out, you are going to make sure that it fits you. So turn it right side out and then put it on your hand again and kind of poke that thumb section out and make sure. And if it doesn't, you can kind of stitch again and make it smaller or whatever you need to do. This one fit me just great actually. And then turn it inside out again and then put your sewing machine on the zigzag and you're going to zigzag that edge just like this. So it's going to just kind of hold all of those cut ends in place and make the mitten nice and sturdy. You could also hand sew your mitten, but I think machine sewing is just going to give you a better finish overall. Then turn your mitten right side out and you are finished your first mitten. I was actually really surprised at how cute and adorable these turned out. Next, you're going to take your pattern and flip it around the other way. You make sure to put the mirror image of your pattern on the other side of your sweater and again, do the same exact step. So trace it, sew it, cut it, and then zigzag it. And then you're going to end up with two mittens, one for each hand. I absolutely love how these ones turned out. And then I bought the second sweater. It was actually much easier because it wasn't quite as chunky of a knit. So the knit was nice and fine. So it was a lot easier to sew and it didn't fray as much after I sewed it and cut it and then zigzagging it was totally easy. So to make a gift, I took some Rocky Mountain Soap Company products like this really nice pumpkin soap and this lotion and I put them right inside the mittens and then you could just decorate them with a beautiful bow. So this is just a wired golden polka dot bow. I used the same bow on my tree this year and this could make a fantastic gift for really anybody on your list. In this pair I put the hand butter and also the nail and cuticle butter and again I just used some ribbon and tied everything together. 
I think this would make a great gift for a friend or a teacher or a special someone in your life. One of the reasons I love Rocky Mountain Soap Company's products is because they are made of natural ingredients, so they're really soft on my sensitive skin, and I also love that they're made right here in my home province of Alberta. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried to upcycle a sweater. Make sure to check out Rocky Mountain Soap Company's products. I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. I love the hand butter and the nail and cuticle butter as a combo with these thrifted sweater mittens for a unique and heartfelt present this year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.